Migraine is really both a syndrome and a disease. It's a syndrome in the sense that there's a symptom profile that characterizes migraine, and that symptom profile is recurrent attacks of throbbing one-sided headache with nausea, sensitivity to light, and sensitivity to sound. There's specific types of migraine that are diseases as an example, familial hemiplegic migraine, which is a rare inherited form of migraine, is caused by one of several different specific diseases. And migraine is sometimes a progressive disorder, so it's a common clinical observation that people who start with episodic migraine once or twice a month over a period of months to years may end up with headaches more days than not. So it clinically progresses in the sense that attacks may increase in frequency. Not in everyone, in fact, not even in most people, but in a significant subgroup of migraine sufferers. It's also a progressive disease in the sense that the more attacks of migraine a person has, the more likely they are to experience brain changes related to the attack. So there's evidence that as attack frequency goes up, people are more likely to have white matter lesions on their MRIs and more likely to have small vascular injuries in the posterior circulation distribution. Yeah, so migraine with aura in particular is a risk factor for stroke and heart attack. So there have been several good longitudinal studies that show that people who have migraine with aura develop ischemic stroke at about twice the rate of the general population. Now it's also important to recognize that high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity are all stroke and vascular disease risk factors, and migraine is not the most powerful risk factor, but it, but it could be that by controlling the frequency of migraine that that might reduce the risk of the complications of migraine.